Hey everybody, Cynthia at Unique Medical, coming at you, no makeup, it's Sunday morning. Here we go, it's time to meal prep, time to do the work in the kitchen. Today I wanna to talk to you about this. It's a butternut squash. So I picked this up at the farmer's market and I know that you see these around Thanksgiving time and they're low price, great in vitamin A, but you might feel intimidated on how to prepare it. So I'm gonna show you a quick, easy hack on how to make a butternut squash. So here we go. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your squash in a pan. I have a little stainless steel pan here. Um, and you're gonna pierce it. And I've already done my holes. You can see it's starting to sweat. So you're just gonna pierce it all over and make several little holes in it. I've got some parchment paper down so that I don't have to scrub my pan later because this is gonna leak out some juices. Next thing you're gonna do is just chunk that right in the oven. And as you can see, I've got some sweet potatoes in there. I've got a turkey tenderloin. I've got some wild caught salmon. So my meal prep is well underway. I put everything in the oven at the same time. I don't really worry about cooking times or anything like that. I just cook it until it's done. I've got some no nitrate sausages up here and a nice cast iron skillet getting brown. Those will go with the sweet potatoes for a meal later on in the week. Okay, I did manage to get it apart. I did have to take the top off because the top part didn't want to cut. I usually like to let it get a little softer before I cut it open. That's okay though, it came right open once I put the camera down. And so the next part I'm gonna do is scoop out the seeds. I won't be able to do that on camera because I'll need both hands. This squash is hot, so use caution. Use a dish towel to hold it with, to hold it steady, and just start scooping. So I scooped all the seeds out all out and then rubbed it down with some organic olive oil and just a little salt and pepper just a little pink Himalayan sea salt and pepper and then back in the oven it's gonna go let's see if we can do that without making you too dizzy here there she is and that's gonna go for about another half an hour and as you can see I've got some chicken thighs now a buffalo paleo meatloaf and still those sweet potatoes. So here we are out of the oven and it looks pretty good. It's nice and tender, fork tender. I'm just gonna let it cool down. And when it's cool, I'll show you what to do next. My butternut squash is nice and cool. And as you can see, I've already peeled this one. I just used a little paring knife, peeled it up. This one is not peeled, so I'll get to that in just a second. And everything's going in a bucket for scraps for the chicken. Thanks for hanging in till the end of the video. We've got our butternut squash puree right here. Beautiful. Put it in the KitchenAid mixer for a couple minutes with some grass-fed butter, salt, and pepper. It's all done. If you don't have a mixer, mash it up with a fork. I try to keep things super simple. I love eating seasonally. It's one of my favorite parts of being optimized. I think that time spent in the kitchen is just as important as time spent in the gym. So if you want to see more content like this, I'll be happy to take you along on my kitchen adventures. Just comment below and like the video. Have a great day.